with a Maria. I just replaced the motor on this 2001 club car. I'm sorry I did not make a video to show you exactly how I took it out, but I'm going to explain it. Um, also, um, on, on the club cars, golf cart, uh, right here you got a VIN number. You see where the key's at? And then you have your VIN number. The first two numbers, this is your model number. The next two numbers is going to be the year model of the uh, car. This is something my boss was showing me. And uh, so this is a 2001. And what I did, I removed the rack. I removed the rack and all of this. On the plastic piece, you only have two screws. This, uh, there's one here and one there. Once you remove this, you pick this up slightly, pull it straight back. And the reason for that is because this has got tabs that interlock into the slot here. Um, now, obviously, what you want to do is I, I took a picture so I know where the wires go back to my A1, S1, A2, S2. Uh, that way I know where the wires went back correctly. Then I took this apart. There's three bolts on the top. One here, one here, and then one right about here. And these are 10 millimeters. On the very bottom, you have one more bolt. This is a 10, uh, I'm sorry, that's a half inch. Once you do this, a lot of people are saying you have to take the entire uh, axle out of the golf cart to change the motor or to work on it. And that's not true. Get a floor jack, and you put the floor jack in the back, lift the golf cart up, and this will allow it to clear this frame because the frame will actually come up above the motor. Uh, the next thing you do, uh, you take a rope. What I did was I took a dog leash because it grabs a little bit better and it's a flat type of rope. So the dog leash, I wrapped around the motor about uh, a quarter way down from the from the head. And this is where, where the, most of the weight. So here. Um, and then what you have to do is you'll... Hold what I did was I held uh, the leash and I yanked it up and let it uh, slack back down as I pushed the motor out and then I gently lowered it to the ground. And how I did this is now if you put this bar on the outside, it can roll and hurt you make sure that the bar that you put is on the inside it's long enough to get each side okay and then you'll put your leash around this and that will help you when you're holding it that will help you lower it down to the ground easier also when you're reinstalling it uh, in you you picking this up with one hand and you pull it a slack out with, uh, you know, uh, uh, the rope. And once you get it to a certain height, then you can hold it, and there's there's not very much pressure at all on you. Um, like I said, I apologize that I didn't actually make a, a video of me uh, taking the motor out and everything else um, and how we ended up fixing the motor. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this explanation will help somebody kind of be able to get the motor out without, um, you know, dropping the axle in the back. Um, other than that, everybody have a good day. Mox good.